Hello, this is Greg Gloria, aka Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network. We're here at the 2015 Maker Fair Bay Area talking to Zach Shelby of ARM about the current IoT landscape. Let's check in to see what Zach says. This is Zach Shelby from ARM, IoT nerd and founder of one of the first companies doing open source standards in security for IoT. And uh, we're really excited at ARM about uh, providing a, a platform for innovation for, for makers of all kinds of IoT products. IoT is really interesting. I, I like to compare it to what happened with the web from the internet back in the 90s, right? We went from closed content silos like um, American Online, suddenly this whole spectrum of web services, things like Facebook emerged that nobody could have imagined. IoT landscape right now is really similar, right? We start to see a platform of 32-bit microcontroller technology, like Cortex-M, security, software, and cloud services, where now people can go really create new, innovative services, device platforms, were never possible before, right? One of the other challenges we see for the industry is the need for better, cheaper, longer life battery power devices. And we've seen a trend from you know, large mobile phone class devices down to wearables like the one that I have on my, on my wrist to really small battery power devices. And our expectations are they last for months where sometimes reality has been days. So we're really working to push the, the power limits of where we can go with, with these low-power devices. And we're seeing great results already on, on that. One more challenge we see at ARM that is being faced right now by people making real products is that in the past, we made embedded devices. They were standalone. They didn't talk to anything apart from a radio controller. And now, with IoT, we're really connecting these devices to the internet. And the internet means security. So one of the things we care about is getting security technologies in the hands of all kinds of developers and devices. And we think it's important to have not only communication security, but device security and management of devices. So software updates, making sure the device is talking to the right service at the right time, etc. Those are all important parts of our, our software ecosystem that we create. So the first is getting a hold of the right platforms. Right? So one of the things we do at ARM is ensure that there's a great range of development platforms available. Everything from Raspberry Pi, the new Raspberry Pi 2, right? We do Linux, we do Windows 10, down to really low power embedded platforms like Arduino, Electric Imp, or all the embed compatible device platforms that we have available from our silicon partners.